Bhagavad Gita, text 3.18 He has nothing to gain by acting, and nothing to lose by not acting. He needs no one for any purpose. One who is Atma Ratihi derives pleasure from the self alone. He has no obligatory work to perform, nor is he dependent on others, either humans or gods. Such a person is in perfect harmony with the aforementioned cosmic order. Having sacrificed his material ego altogether, he eventually transcends it. Arjuna's position is such that he is neither overly attached to material acquisition and thereby in need of petitioning the gods, nor qualified to take up a life of contemplation. His eligibility for spiritual progress lies in between these two paths. Therefore, after having described the course for both, the attached person and the one in knowledge, Krishna next concludes that Arjuna should perform selfless karma yoga, continuing to drive this point home to his disciple. He advises Arjuna on how he can attain the state of God consciousness. He has just described in verses 17 and 18 by engaging in Nishkama Karma Yoga.